Hello and welcome to another C-Sharp coding homework exercise for Windows Forms. In this one we are going to create a word counter. We are to create an application with a method that accepts a string as an argument and returns the number of words it contains. Like a sentence four score and uh, seven years ago, the method should return the number six because there are six words. And the application should let the user enter a string and then display then it should pass the string to the method and again display the number of words. So I have the form ready, super simple, one text box where the user enters the string, clicks the button count the words and we will display a message box with the number of words. So let's get coding. I'll click the count words button and the first thing we're going to do is create a string called words and that's going to be our input. So it's comes from txt string.txt. Now if the user enters a bunch of spaces before uh, starting to type or after, we don't really want to count them. Because remember, we're going to be splitting the string by spaces. That's how we will count the number of words. So we don't want any extra spaces before and after. So I'm going to use, uh, at the end, I'm going to also use that trim to get rid of the leading and trailing spaces. The next one, I'm going to uh, create the method. They want us to create a method that counts the words, so I'm going to create private and it returns the number of words, so it's integer, call it count words. And it expects a string, I'll just call it words. And within the method, we split this string that is being passed as an argument into an array and we'll split it uh, by spaces. So I'm gonna create a string array, I'll call it all words, and we will use the words, which is the string passed as an argument, that split, and like I said, we're splitting it by character space. So that will populate our all words array. So now we can just count the number of uh, indexes uh, th that are in the array and we will get our number of words. So we will simply return all words dot length. That's an integer that will give us the length of the array. And like it says, gets the total number of elements in the dimensional dimensions of the array. So now we can come back to our button click event and do a message box that show and we'll show something like number of words and just display the number of words. And to display it, we'll simply call the method count words and we'll pass the words string to it. And since that method returns integer, it will simply display the result of the calculation of the all words that length as a integer right here. So it says number of words and in the example that we, uh, we were given before, it will say number of words, six, because there were six words. So let's run it. But first I'm going to copy this four score and seven years ago. I'm gonna use it as an input uh, just to test it quickly. I'll pass it in and number of words, six. So that is correct. If I add a bunch of spaces before and after, I still will get six because we trimmed those spaces. Now if I add another word or just a letter, now I get words seven. So that's working fine. All right, so uh, this is it. Very simple, very short. I hope you liked it and I will see you in the next video. Take care.